Hey there, so I had a decal user reach out and say that they had a glass bale on the back of a uh, round decal to hang as a sun catcher and dropped it and broke the bale. And so they needed to get the rest of the bale off the back. It was glued on with Loctite. And so they were wondering what's the best way to do that and whether or not anything would damage the decal. And I said, you know, I've not tried this before, so let's do a little experiment and see. So I've got some nail polish remover, which is 100% acetone here. And I've got some uh, isopropyl alcohol at 91%. I'm just gonna cut, this is one of the samples that I had done when I was doing my tests. So I'm gonna cut this and then I'm just gonna prop it into a cup and I'm going to soak them overnight and let's see how they turn out. I'm curious, I have no idea. Okay, so these have been out here now for 24 hours, actually longer than that, a little bit longer than that. And uh, at first glance, they seem fine. So let me open the one that's the isopropyl alcohol. Now I had to put lids on these because the evaporation is uh, significant on both of these. So <clears throat> they would have been dry if I didn't put lids on them. Um, yeah, that is perfect. There is not... Now, uh, this, these decals were fired on at 1200 degrees for 15 minutes, um, and that is flawless. There is not any impact whatsoever from isopropyl alcohol. Let's check out the acetone. This one looks good too. Yeah, absolutely zero effect. So. For those of you who are curious, uh, after the decal has been fired, alcohol and acetone have no impact. So if you find yourself in a situation where you've glued on something that you want to remove and need to soak it, there you go. Looks like it'll work. Hope everything's going well. If you're interested in my decals, you can find them at www.fusing.shop. Take care, everybody. Bye.